Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Collectively, we are the Office Blokes. It's true. Yeah. We've got a TikTok. Head over to TikTok, type in the Office Blokes, give us a follow. Mm. That'd be much appreciated. Do it. We're trying to grow it. A few funny clips of us there. Not put a clip of the uh, work no. to do on it yet, though, but there'll <laughs> be one on there. <laughs> anyway, right. Off the smashing, absolute crazy success of our reaction to the worst places to live yeah. in the UK. We're going to do the Ta-da. best. We kind of called it. We kind of called it with a few of them in the, the worst places, didn't we? We called yeah, a few. We knew Rochdale was going to be on there. We knew Oldham was going to be on there. Yeah. And, yeah. And uh, a few of the other ones, but 10 best places to live. I'm going to... Westminster's got to be on there. Yeah, it depends how... Or Chelsea. It depends on the metrics. Yeah, Chelsea, something like Chelsea. Chelsea suppose. will be on there. Yeah. And uh, Altrincham could be on there. Altrincham, where we yeah. are... Uh, where where we live or I used to yeah. live I live just further out uh, tops the lists of these things all the time yeah, it's always up there so let's yeah. see anyway yeah I'm gonna say it's the UK remember as well so you might get places in ah. Scotland Northern Ireland oh yeah yeah it's Definitely. not just England I think, Matt, yeah. Yeah. I think I wonder if it's gonna mean is it gonna be like city or just town or that's mm. a, I think it'd be yeah. I think they'll pinpoint it to the city yeah the town the town yeah. there's some mm. northwest but higher up than us places that top these lists some of the time like where? I can't think of Not Morecambe. No, not, not, <laughs> not Morecambe, no. Um, Lake District area. Yeah. No, yeah. not the Lake District. Yeah. Uh, I can't even... I'll, I might remember. Yeah. I can't remember. It's one of those old sort of uh, industrial towns, but one of them yeah. is beautiful. I can't remember what it's called. Right, okay. Anyway, we'll do it. Yeah. 10 best places to live in the UK. Let's do this. 10 best places to live in the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is a country that any decent person loves to live. Also known as Britain, Great Britain or the UK, the country is structured in such a way that you can enjoy a meaningful life in- It's a different guy doing it's the voiceover, the same guy, isn't is it? it? No, I don't it's a bit interesting though, because he's, he's like a, got an American accent. Yeah. So it'll be mm. interesting to see the perspective from what they put out yeah. as the best places, you know, what sort of uh, evidence I, he's taken into. I really like the other guy just being pure anecdotal Same. and just like, mm. <laughs> a pure Lost opinion. Yeah. 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 We'll see, we'll see. Any of its cities. Even then, the UK cities outclass themselves in terms of cost and standard of living and happiness. On these basis, we present the 10 best places to live in the United Kingdom. Number 10, Plymouth. <laughs> a city you should consider for- <laughs> I was thinking that as soon as it came up, but I thought, no, surely not. Plymouth for everyone watching out there. Is Plymouth in the USA? Plymouth. Plymouth. Yeah, yeah. Did they pronounce it Plymouth as yeah. well? Oh, did they? How bizarre. Well, I assume so. I don't, I've never heard anyone say, mention it, but I've never, heard, I've never heard anyone call it Plymouth. Is it Plymouth Rock? Yeah. Is that one of the places? Is that where the pilgrims landed? Could be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, mm. might, he might be able to sum up there. Mm. Maybe. Well, I've never heard anyone say Plymouth. I no. think I yeah. think these are voiced over by AI. I think yeah. this is a robot. Uh, Plymouth. Plymouth. <laughs> Living in the United Kingdom is Plymouth. This is a waterfront city on the south coast of Devon, England. It is located approximately 60 kilometers southwest of Exeter and 310 kilometers west southwest of London. The average salary of £27,502 in Plymouth it? is not bad. However, be prepared to spend some £1,762 of that on commuting and £10,512 on rent. And it costs an average of £223,965 to acquire your own property. Thus, the 261,400 residents of Plymouth may report a lower level of satisfaction with their day-to-day -day living. Nevertheless, they are happier to be living in a crime-free city. For the safety of lives and property that living in Plymouth guarantee, we consider it one of the 10 best places to live in the United Kingdom. Because heroin addicts don't commit crime. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. oh, Salisbury Cathedral. Salisbury. Salisbury. Yeah, Salisbury. Salisbury, watch those door yeah. handles. <laughs> and perfume bottles. <laughs> yeah, don't pick up, up any perfume there. Number 9, Salisbury. <laughs> This is Salisbury. It is a cathedral city with a population of 40,302. Salisbury is located at the confluence of the rivers Avon, Bourne, and Nader. The city in the southeast of Wiltshire, England, is approximately 20 miles from Southampton and 30 miles from Bath. I do if like you're considering Salisbury, living in nice. the United Kingdom, this city near the edge of Salisbury Plain is worthy of your consideration. With an average salary of £26,502, all those living in the city should be happy. Of course, £1,184 of that amount will go for accommodation. 
Commuting to work will cost about 1,130 pounds. Earning. Where's he getting these commuting costs from? I'm not sure. That's a lot of money, isn't it? I mean. I think so far these are two that are in shot of London. Well, Plymouth's not. Not but really. There'll be people commuting on the train. Yeah, I on think, the train. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that's they're where the costs many. will be. There won't be that many. It'd be, be more of a second home sort of area, Plymouth. True. Mm. Yeah. True. Plymouth. Plymouth. See, Altrincham's yeah. not going to be on this because it's not a city. It's no, obviously it's a just true. in the cities, isn't it? Which obviously Manchester's going to be number one. So do we even need to watch the rest of the video? <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> I'm struggling to watch this, to be fair. <laughs> I'm getting a chuckle out of it. That much and spending that less residents of Salisbury should be among the happiest. Number eight, Glasgow. Our search for the best places to what? live in the UK <laughs> takes us to Scotland. There we find Glasgow, the largest city and a port on the Clyde in West Central Scotland. This city, which is one of the greatest shipbuilding centers, is home to over 801,000 Glaswegians, many of whom speak the most Gaelic, especially outside of the Highlands and Islands. That's not Gaelic, they're just pissed. <laughs> it's obvious, it's obviously never, okay. <laughs> when he visited Glasgow, he obviously never went to Govan. Hey, well, yeah, that's true, yeah. It should be at least Edinburgh above. I mean, yeah, it might ho be. hopefully. It Do you emanate from this area? Is it your, your, like, your my clan? Yeah. Your clan. Is it Glasgow or Edinburgh? Uh, my granddad on my dad's side is, was Glaswegian, and oh, my okay. grandparents on my mum and dad, on my mum's side, both of them were um, Aberdeen. Oh, right, so you're all Scottish then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Proper Scottish. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> the city should score even higher if population adds to the city's happiness, because it is the third most populated. The average salary in Glasgow is £29,161, while some £1,929 is expected to be spent commuting. You could buy a home with an average of £126,200, while rent mortgage will continue to gulp £9,048. Number 7. Cambridge Famous for its university, Cambridge is one of the best places to live in the UK for obvious reasons. Interestingly, the influx of academics into the city hasn't raised the cost of living disproportionately. If anything, it only increases the happiness level of the resident of the top UK centre for culture, traditions, education and top opportunities. The average cost of living in this prosperous city is £1,045.77. Depending on the side of the city where you live, the average rent is £1,362.31. Compared with the opportunities that abound in the city, the transportation and utility costs are also reasonable. Cambridge is such a place you can live to find inspiration to advance your career. Number 6. Wolverhampton City <laughs> Are you a business-oriented person? Do you want to live among the industrialists and have a taste of quality life at a minimum? Live amongst the like industrialists? What industrialists? It's a dump! He's, he's, looking at, he's looking at like 1900s metrics. <laughs> if you want to work in some of the mills and the factories... <laughs> oh, it's crackers this, isn't it? Uh, and it's not called Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton, Wolverhampton, Wolverhampton. <laughs> Cost? Wolverhampton, situated in the West Midlands of England, may be your next home. No. Your family can be no. added to the 254,700 plus residents of this blossoming city. According to history, Wolverhampton was a part of Staffordshire, but the city has, since the Industrial Revolution, grown to become a major center for coal mining, lock making, steel production, and cars and motorcycle manufacture. Coal mining, eh? Your mills and engineering industries continue to thrive in the city with the average salary of £25,136. Commuting costs just £1,768. You can live in a comfortable apartment if you can afford £6,852 as rent or buy your own home with £176,193. Wolverhampton is the first city in the UK to have automatic traffic lights. It is one of the best <laughs> cities well to live there. <laughs> Number five, York. 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 Where we are, it's just a guy with a couple of signs, yeah. isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Stop and go, he turns it. Turns it. Uh, uh, Stop uh, on one side, go on the other. <laughs> yes, it employs a lot of people being a traffic right. signal. Uh, <laughs> York's yeah. nice. Love York. Yeah, yeah. yeah. go with that one, definitely. Yeah. You can also move to the historic walled city of York in northeast England at the confluence of Foss and Ouse rivers in North Yorkshire. You have a lot to learn about its heritage and major political development in England, in this city founded by ancient Romans over 2,000 years ago. 
The 200,000 residents in York are among the happiest people in the United Kingdom. You could be making an average of £27,300 monthly, which is enough to make you happy. Even if you had to spend £1,622 on commuting and £10,128 on rent and mortgage, you can still happily buy a home for £225,352. Life is generally satisfying in York, and the wall of the city guarantees the safety of life and property. Number four, Aberdeen. <laughs> so because all, all of the hordes trying to ransack the city, Thanks. it's a safe place to buy because the wall's there. <laughs> what are you going on about? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not sure about this video, me. I can see where it's going now for number one. Oh, absolutely. You know, I'm it's going to be London. I'm having a good chuckle out of this, yeah. though, so I'm all right with it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, I need to. I've never even been to Scotland. Really? Yeah. Lovely, really, really mm. nice. On my list, but yeah. it's just, just never have. Wow, I know. I'm surprised at that. I must admit, I very know. scenic, surprised. very, uh, don't know, um, picturesque. Picturesque, yeah, yeah, beautiful. I've got lots Great of family place. up there. Mm. Still, I've got a priest in the family. Believe it or not. Don't go. Really? Oh, I know. <laughs> Don't take your kids with you anyway. <laughs> not, ca not Catholic. <laughs> This is one of Scotland's 32 local government council areas, the third most populous city in Scotland, and the United Kingdom's number 39 among the most populous built-up areas. This That's is the city of show. Aberdeen. Yeah. With a population of some 227.1 thousand, Aberdeen is one of the best places to live in the United Kingdom if you care about safety. The governing body of this city, the Aberdeen City Council, with its 45 councillors, ensures that the city's cost of living is controlled. So the commuting cost is roughly £1,929, while property price averages £175,000. If you're going for rent or mortgage, you should be looking to £9,132. You get all of that covered with an average salary of £30,362. No wonder the residents in this city are happier than those in many other cities in the United Kingdom. Number 3. Edinburgh <laughs> Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland, has frequently Jeez. made lists of the best places to live and work in the United Kingdom. The city located in the Lothian region, south side of the Firth and Forth is dubbed the jewel of Scotland's crown for good reasons. Edinburgh is such a beautiful and cosmopolitan city endowed with many wonderful attractions with an immediately favorable impression. Both it's where Rockstar Games is based, isn't it? That make oh, Grand Theft Auto, oh, yes. Red Dead Redemption. Was it? Where Edinburgh? Yeah. In Edinburgh. <laughs> in, fact, <laughs> Edinburgh. Not, in fact, we're going to Glasgow in Edinburgh in uh, February for uh, oh, nice. a few gigs up there, so uh, that would be nice. Yeah, I've not been to Scotland myself either, actually. I'd, uh, I'm going soon. It's on the list, yeah. definitely. I need I need some Iron Brew and Buckfast and heroin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need to get in shape in the new year, don't I? So I'm going to go on the heroin diet. I'll just smoke it though, it's fine, so I don't, I don't get addicted. Yeah, yeah. All jokes, <laughs> don't yeah. do drugs. Tourists and residents have never been tired of admiring the breathtaking beauty their lives revolve around in the burial place of Adam Smith, the father of economics, which is economically viable. It's a vibrant center for commerce and finance with a visible government presence. Accommodation and transport average £1,644 and £1,700 respectively here. Number 2. Oxford Oxford, a city in southern England which is northwest of London and the home of the world-renowned Oxford University, has for centuries been one of the best places to live in the UK. Though relatively small in size, it packs a punch with its diverse culture and tradition of excellence radiating in its neighborhoods. The city is a reflection of distinguishing features of the United Kingdom. Examples are the cozy cafes of Bohemian Jericho and affluent streets of leafy family favorite Headington. Granted, you spend more living in Oxford than many cities in the United Kingdom and even Europe. It is one of the best places to live when you consider the economic opportunities, amenities, and comfort. Number one, Swindon. What? Huh? Swindon? What are you talking about? Where's this guy got? I think he's just got a map out and fucking gone alphabetical and gone, right, I need one begins with A, one begins with B. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you looked at a map, you'd see, the Swindon. Ma you'd see the magic roundabout in Swindon and just go, that is not for humans. Humans don't live there. <laughs> what are you talking about? Swindon? I've never got that in a billion years. It's a dub. I don't know, I, <laughs> I mean, I don't know where he's got this from. This, I, don't know where, I don't know what he's basing it on, so I can't say, you know. Oh, but no, it ain't no. through places you want to live. No, absolutely <laughs> Just but the best places to live is it something like for homeless people underneath <laughs> 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 missing. <Yeah. laughs> 
little, little small print. <laughs> it's crackers, isn't it? It's absolutely crackers. You'd rather live in Swindon well. over like Hale or. Well, if you're, talk, like, if, if you're talking cities, yeah. then it'd be like, you know, Swindon. Well, Swindon's not a city. Oh, it's not, is it? No. Swindon's a town, isn't it? Swindon's a town. Yeah. Mm. Just has to Google it, and Altrincham would come up if it was towns as the top one. Altrincham is higher. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But you've got to, to be a city, you have to have a cathedral. Yeah, you're right. Because mm. yeah, yeah. uh, Stockport have been trying to get city status for years, haven't they? <laughs> still won't be on this. <laughs> that still won't be on this list. Stokeport. <laughs> <laughs> If you have ever been to Swindon as a tourist, you would love Ooh, to make lovely. the city your home that contests as the best city in the country. Who's been there as This large city. town that you would find in the ceremonial county of... One He's tourist went to city. Swindon once and didn't hate population it. Too. <laughs> he, keeps, he keeps referring to it as a city, though, as well. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not a city. Well, the football club's called Swindon Town, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So yeah. that's where I'm basing yeah. it off. Well, I'm basing it off... A, so. I don't know of a cathedral in Swindon, unless I'm... I can't remember mm -hmm. a Swindon Cathedral. I don't think it's that big a place, is it? No, it's pretty, pretty sure forgettable if there is one. Put it yeah. that way. Wiltshire has a population of 209,200 people. Located in southwest England, 56 kilometers to the west of Bristol, and the same distance east to Reading, Swindon is a city with a high job satisfaction rating. Finding a good job paying an average of £30,248 so a month is a yeah. good reason to consider this city one of the best cities to live in the United Kingdom. No. What is more, you spend relatively less on commuting, £1,762, and rent, £8,892. Buying a home of two to five bedrooms for as low as £248,154 is another good reason to live in Swindon. Those living in Swindon are very that's happy well and appealing. satisfied with their life. That's well appealing, that. <laughs> Bored yeah, up, show, show. What is state of that? I dumped that, right. Where's he got this from? <laughs> Rodborn Convenience Store, oh, Tim's Baguette Bar. <laughs> the man with the van. It's sponsored by Tim's Baguette Bar, isn't it? That's <laughs> who made the video. Jesus. What is Who even has curtains like that? That's such a fucking dump. <laughs> Lives. That can be your lot if you move there. Consider making a choice of residence in any of these towns. No, no, don't. I, I think we're done there. Yeah, I'm going. I'm tossing up now whether to move to Swindon or Windsor. <laughs> it's a tough one. I mean, <laughs> it's one of the most. It's one of the funniest oh, videos we've well. reacted to in a while. It's probably yeah, yeah. amusing, actually. Yeah. I don't, what I don't get neither on that is what's he basing his commuting costs on? Commuting to where? Exactly. I mean, it's Bizarre. You're Someone's, commuting from Wolverhampton to anywhere other than Wolverhampton. Yeah. It's like somebody's just given this guy a script and said, yeah, yeah. honestly, that's all correct, that is, and he's just yeah. gone through it, not researched it or something. But I, I think it is researched. It's just researched the wrong metrics to go off. Yeah. So commuting cost, like you say, what is that? What we, is it? Because people who live, you know, in bad bits of Glasgow are probably not spending a lot on commuting because they've not got a job. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So their commuting costs are low, and you can buy a house for only thirty thousand quid there. So it must yeah, be. yeah, there's a reason for it. Yeah, precisely. We looked, we looked at a shop in Wolverhampton. Um, as you know, we were looking around. Yeah, and I tell you what, there must have been about if there was a hundred shops, let's say, for numbers' sake, fifty-eight of them were boarded up. Really, that many? It's a shit hole. Wow. There's no way you'd want to move to Wolverhampton. I mean, I'm sure there's nice parts of Wolverhampton. There's nice parts everywhere. Yeah, but I've, yeah. I've never, I've never been to one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you're from Wolverhampton, but you, you'll agree. <laughs> I think that's yes. the, the general theme with these ones that we do in the UK is people do tend to agree with us. Mm. Um, we like to see our place being yeah. the shittest. Yeah. Look at the comment section of the worst yeah, places. I it, yeah, that should be higher. And, yeah. I'll tell you what, though, I'm surprised Wolverhampton wasn't on the other list. Precisely. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yes. Yeah, strange being on this one anyway isn't it I think but, we should make a video of the 10 worst places to live in America and let's base it on ridiculous metrics uh, yeah, and yeah. see how many people we can happens. piss off <laughs> <laughs> good plan to you I'm sure anyway oh. yeah. yeah don't take no notice of what he said <laughs> it's all come nonsense on, come to Manchester <laughs> <laughs> don't forget like and subscribe check out our Patreon channel as well mm. hit the bell and all that good stuff and we'll catch you on the next one cheers, cheers guys cheers.